Welcome back, everyone, to the Right Anything Agency! But today's not July 9th, game. Don't you know that? Today is... I don't know what today is, actually. But I think, actually, when I'm recording this, it might either be... I don't know, actually. It's still March, though. So, game, get your facts straight. It's not July. I really don't want it to be July, because July, it's too hot, and it's just uncomfortable. Why would I want that? Hey, hey, Apollo! What? Um, well, you know, um, actually nothing. I mean something, or maybe not. Out with it, the suspense is giving me an ulcer. Well, you know the trial today, I was thinking. If you gave it a score, what score would you give it? Score? Um, gee. I guess I would, um, or maybe, well, ah, I'm just as bad as you. See, it's so, so vague. Clearly. Maki avoided a guilty verdict, which is something. Though I can't say I'm any less confused about the case. I asked Interpol about that number. I'm sure you'll find their answer intriguing. IPXX314206. The agent registered under this number. It was Romine Latouse. And the victim, Mr. Latouse. Who would have guessed he was actually an undercover Interpol agent? What a mess. And we don't have any idea what he was investigating. Well, true, but we know who shot him now. They were all told to hold court! Wait! That voice just now! It was him! I am sure of it! That voice I heard talking to Mr. Latouse when I heard the gunshots fired! It was him! It was Mr. Diane! It's another mystery, Apollo! I love mysteries! I don't. Speaking of mysteries, what's Mr. Wright up to? I wouldn't mind asking his opinion. About mysteries? Well... Personally, myself, I think mysteries are okay. I don't know about what, what Mr. Wright's gonna say, but, you know, he might be alright with them. Maybe. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen Daddy around. What is he, some kind of stray that just wanders in and out at will? I wouldn't say that, but he has been going out a lot. Some top secret mission, he said. Top secret? Anyway, you can't just rely on him to save the day. And you've got a, me to help you. We'll be fine. Fine. Right. Well, time's a wasting, as they say. Let's investigate. That's the spirit. Well, alrighty then, if you say so. Well, I don't really see much of a reason to re-examine everything in this room. I don't think. I could be wrong about that. Let's talk about the plant, though. Mr. Charlie, the potted plant. Huh? His leaves are looking a little brown. Good morning, Mr. Charlie. Ah, Mr. Charlie, your leaves. If you weren't giving him enough water. No, no, it must be stress. He's worried about the new recruit at the office. Hey, don't blame it on me. You are watering him, right? It was Daddy's turn to water him this week. Heck! Mr. Wright has been away on his top secret mission, no? I'm sorry, Mr. Charlie. This is all my fault. I'll water you soon, I promise. Soon? Why not now? That'd make more sense. Anyway. Well, like I said, we'll ignore that. I don't think there's any reason to worry about that stuff. Darian did it! You sure about that? I remember we dropped a bomb in court today. Hmm, I don't think you'd want to see that, actually, Apollo. I mean, we, we, uh, I hope we're not talking literally, of course. Uh, it was, it was Tarian, jeez. Ha <coughs> ha! said she's never forgotten a voice, right? That's so cool! Um, I guess. What's that called again? Um, elephant ears? I bet that's what they're called. Are you sure about that? Somehow, I don't think that means what you think it means. And she has to be wrong this time. Wrong? Why? I mean, look. Those gunshots were right during the concert. That's right. I was burning up the dance floor at the time. Right. Do you happen to look up on stage? Maybe at Darien, even? You bet I did. He is one of the Gavineers guitarists, after all. He's so cool. Oh. Right. All the Gavineers have a rock-solid alibi. Couldn't have shot Mr. Latouse backstage. But Lamarora heard him, didn't she? She heard Darian backstage, right? Something's either wrong or lying very badly here. I do wonder which one it could be. Agent Latouse, an Interpol agent. I was wondering what is Interpol anyway, huh? Interpol? They're the guys who catch international criminals. Why can't they just call them international police instead of making up some silly name? Yeah. Anyway, you think he was investigating Lamoror? What? 
Why would anyone do that? She's not a criminal, she couldn't be! Don't be fooled by appearances is all I'm saying. But remember, I'm a magician, Apollo! I can spot a pawned coin at 50 paces! If only it were that easy. In any case, we know he was working on something. I wonder if it was something that had something to do with... Something! Something, something, you know? That something being our case, the last something, I mean. Something like that. Frankly, the whole thing is making my head hurt. What was Mr. Latus up to? Ha 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 ha! Dot dot dot, the magician! Dot 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 dot! Um, Trucy, was that another one of your tricks? It wasn't me! I can't even make Mr. Hat laugh like that! I knew it! Huh, let's see. Wherever the mundane gives way to miracles, a word is whispered. Grimari! Hey, the other day! Eek! Who's there? We didn't just imagine that, did we? He's wearing a silk hat, friend of yours. Hardly! We meet again! Uh, um, nice to meet you. Who are you? And can you please stop smirking like that? Ah! Ah! It's you! Uncle Valent! Uncle Valent? He's your uncle? No, silly! It's the great Grim Grimari! Valent Grimari! The Grand Magician! Yes, it is I, the great Valent Grimari, as seen on television! And could you please stop smirking like that? It's been a while, Miss Trucy, seven years to be exact. My, how you've grown. Good to see you again, Uncle Valent! You look exactly the same! Um, I hate to intrude, but... What is a great magician doing paying us a visit? I believe it was you who wished to see me! So be quick with your questions! And do not quail, quake or quiver, I am quite tame. Though my stardom may sear the sight, I'm quite down to earth when need calls. He does have a certain aura to him, it's true. Let's ask him about the case, Apollo! His aura sure isn't lost on, the, on our magician in the making. Yes, I know, he's Lucario, right? <laughs> She's practically drooling with enthusiasm. After all, <laughs> Uncle Valance one of his baddest best friends. That's why I call him Uncle. What? Daddy, you mean Mr. Wright? No, I mean my real daddy. Dot, dot, dot. Trucy's real father? Oh my gosh, plot twist. I mean, come on. I, 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 you probably could have put that together pretty easily, I'm, I'm assuming, anyway. I'm surprised they should have already told Apollo about that, though. Troop Grim Grimare. Wait, Apollo! Don't tell me you don't know about Troop Grimare! Troop Grimare, huh? No. But it does sound kind of familiar. Oh, lost life, lamentably! Listless lad! To not know of the greatest troop of magicians on the planet! Valent Grimari. The name began to surface in my mind. It was a name I'd heard on television as a child. You bet you've heard the name! He made a cruise ship disappear and blew up an amusement park! Really? He blew up an amusement park? He wasn't arrested for this? Oh, and he made all this gold disappear from a safe! And then escaped from a high security prison! Um... You said he is a magician? I open the locks to hearts chained by mediocrity. This is the true miracle of Troop Grimare. Wait. What, Apollo? I do remember seeing you on television a long time ago. Weren't you with someone else? Like a duo? A duo? Yeah, you had a partner. Something Grimare. Yes, a Zach. Zach Grimare. A masterful maker of magic, a capable crafter of shining bind, or as I like to say, shining showmanship. Dot 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 dot! Question mark? Why is everyone so quiet? Daddy! Daddy? Huh. Oh, no way! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Here's his father. Once upon a time, the troop Grimare included two grand magicians. Myself, Valent Grimare, and my partner, Zach Grimare. 
And this Zack was... He was my real daddy! Trucy's father, a magician. I guess it makes sense. I had no idea. There wasn't much point in talking about it. Not, not now that he's gone. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm not lonely. I've got my daddy after all. And you make me laugh, Apollo. <laughs> Glad that I'm good for comic relief, at least. Not that I see daddy around much these days. Ah! I have been remiss in remembering my reasons for my visit. Reasons? Two, in fact. The first being, of course, to see you, Miss Trucy. You don't know how happy I am to see you again, Uncle Valens. I'm sure you are. Not one for modesty, are you? When I encountered you at the Coliseum the first time in seven years, I could fain contain my emotions. I wept oceans. And to learn you now defend that poor pianist, that blinded boy. Twas a hot topic of talk among the staff, you know. And defend him you did. <laughs> well, it wasn't all my doing. Um, I'm his defense attorney, actually. My other reason for coming here today was this ancient object here. That's a videotape? Quite so. A you know, this makes me wonder. How does anyone her age in the year 2026 know what a VA VHS tape looks like? <laughs> I mean, seriously now. A recording of concert of the concert, no less. I brought it for you, Trucy, on behalf of Troop Grimare. Will you watch it? Yeah, yeah, I get it now. I was actually told this was going to happen. It was going to be just like case five of the first game, where they're gonna you're gonna be seeing this scene quite a lot. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. I can't wait, man. I just can't wait. When you stole away the keys, my heart. Held on to so tight. Gotta sing again, you know. Can't forget about that. Pleasure. Oh, you've been singing the melody voice now, but a fleeting melody. It wraps itself around me, and now through the air I fly. That's quite amazing, isn't it now? Whoa! Whoa! Burning on in my heart! Fire! Burn my love away! All away! Like a bullet of love! Fire! Take my life away! All away! Guitar, guitar, up together to the sky. I actually never even looked in the background at the end of that last time. You could just see him like going crazy over his guitar in the background pretty much. Wow, it's almost as good as it was live. So what's the word, mysterious? There are more mysterious things in her song going on. Way more mysterious. <laughs> this Valent Grimari has a good reasons to be here today, but I wonder what his reasons were to be at that concert. Videotape received from Valent. Alrighty then. Well, going on about things, let's look at this real quick, shall we? Taped recording of Lamoror's performance. Touch check button for details. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Wait, really? This is a scheme? A scheme? A scene skipper? <laughs> Come on, man. That's kind of lame, though. I don't want it to be a scene skipper. I want there to be an actual fast-forward button, you know? Like before? Oh. Oh, man. This is gonna be a pain, though. Just you watch. Just you wait a second. I mean, at least the blue badger thing was kind of, was... It worked. It was kind of annoying when it worked because there was a fast-forward and a rewind button, but this one doesn't have a fast-forward and rewind. It just has a skip button, which is even worse. I mean, what if I miss something? It's like, oh, oh, my God. What scene was it in again? I don't remember, actually. Whoopsie, my bad. Oh, either way. Whatever. It is what it is. I'll worry about that later, I suppose. So, we're done talking, right? Yes, we are. So, I guess now we're gonna present some things, eh? What's this, you would ask? Me for a miracle, free of fee? 
then thy wish be granted. Thy will be done. Thy evidence evicted into the ether. Ether! Ah, no evicting, please. Are all magicians like this, I wonder? Mm, possibly. I never thought about that, really. Anyway, presents. What's this? You want ether? Here, have some ether. You will go insane at the power of ether. Why do I even have the power of ether in the first place? This doesn't make any sense. Well, regardless, so I don't freaking know. I kind of, I, I still don't know if I should rule him out, though. I mean, just because he's uh, Trucy's uncle doesn't mean he's automatically innocent, though, right? I don't know. Maybe it is Darian. I mean, wait, seriously, what do I know? Obviously, this case is still going. It's not like, oh, okay, Maki's innocent now. So what do you do? So I was wondering. That stunt in the middle of the song there. I didn't see a stunt. What about Lamoror vanishing and reappearing? Oh, Dad, I guess I'm so used to seeing that happen. I didn't even notice. So young to be so jaded. Jade Curtis? <laughs> a simple sight of hand. A petite prestigious... Prestigious... Let me read this slowly. Prestidigation. I don't freaking know. I'm just gonna say that. Prestidigation. A modicum of magic from me to you. So that's why you were at the concert. Yes. I was there to watch my trick take to the air. So you're the one who knows how it was all done. Of course. I am like a deity with the stage as my domain. Oh, so you are a either either a seraphim or a hellion, huh? I see how it is. I suffered no man. <coughs> My gosh, you gotta love the random cost. <clears throat> Clear the throat and then be ready. I suffer no mystery upon those floodlit boards. Not grasped, tightly twixt my fingers. Like the like the candy twix. Mm -hmm. I used to actually really like that candy. I don't really like it anymore though. Hmm. Oh well, that's what it is. It is a potent pri prime evil. Prime evil? I don't know. Prime evil power I possess. Um, well, you think you could tell me how it was done? Hey now! Trucy? That's like totally against the rules, Apollo! Not during a murder investigation, it's not. My snon for my illusions are mine alone, Monsieur. Also. Also what? Recall that the terrible occurrence happened later. Well after my illusion entrance to audience. Oh. Don't even ask. I won't answer. Too bad for you, Apollo. Er. Who side are you on? I, Valent Grimare, now make my leave, Miss Trucy. There's no need to rush, Uncle Valent. You should stay a while. I am afraid I cannot. I may not. I shall not. I have been asked to assist with an analysis, and so I shall sink back to the sea. So, you'll be at the concert venue today? Correct! If you would call on me, come to the Coliseum! See you later, crocodile! With a whirl of his cloak and a wink of his eye, he turned and he walked out through the door. Normally. <laughs> well, <coughs> well, there, gosh dang. <coughs> well, there, I'm not laughing, I'm coughing. You, you might be thinking I'm laughing and coughing, but that's not true. <coughs> Oh, jeez. I hate that. My gosh. Well, there you go. I can't do freaking Trucy's voice right now. Let's get cracking. Right. Valen Grimari. I've got a few more things to ask him. For foremost among them, that bit of magic that made Lamoror disappear. And how he knows Trucy and a real father. Anyway, Trucy, let's have a conversation, shall we? Okay, never mind. Let's not have a conversation. All right, time to present things to you then in that case. That again? You sure like your attorney's badge! So I'm afraid our clients are getting tired of it! Well, I'm not, so there. <laughs> Good enough reason for me, I suppose. I'm not sure about that, sorry- what? Oh right, duck, it's not the attorney's badge. I was ripping up the dance floor at the time of the shooting, after all! Okay then, so she's probably gonna have said nothing to say about the rest of the stuff, so... Yeah, what do you think about Valent Grimari, everyone? Do you think he's an interesting person? You think he might- be a dark horse candidate for the real criminal, perhaps? I mean, you know, there was the disappearing act of the body, like, oh my god, where did the body go? I can imagine we kept seeing him backstage, too, so that's another thing. Mm. You never know, everyone, you just never know. 
gonna pull one of those random disappearing acts because that's just how magicians are. They're pretty crazy. Sunshine Coliseum. Yeah, I'll go over to the detention center first, please. July 9th, detention center visitor's room. Maki may not be guilty, but he's still a suspect. But they don't have any decisive evidence! Yeah, but only someone as small as him could have gotten out of that room. Right, the air vent! And he lied. Lied? Maki Tobai can see. Ah, Maki! Speak of the devil. He looks like he's doing okay! I forget, why did we come here? It's not like we can talk to him or anything. Words are overrated! Feelings are what matter, Apollo! It's kind of hard to build a court case on feelings. But since we're here anyway, might as well get what I want to say off my chest. If you need someone to complain to, I'll listen! I think she's actually worried for me. Well, alrighty then, man. How's it going? You doing alright? The try. What's the point of this? I mean, if he doesn't talk, there is zero point to this. Well, yeah, forget about it. I'm just gonna talk first here. The trial today. So what did you think of the trial today? Phew, I'm glad he doesn't understand English after all. If he did, he would have been scared out of his mind by that trial. Hey, all is well that ends well. You have to be more goal-oriented. If he's not guilty, we win. No, if he's innocent, we win. Ma Maki might not understand English, but I bet he gets that better than you do. Huh? Oh, you mean the bracelet's reacting for no reason at all? Hey, bracelet, what are you doing? I don't get it. Anyway, whatever. Lamoro's testimony. I'm glad Lamoro testified. What a great person. She even got Maki off the hook by naming another suspect. Darien of the Gavineer is a detective. I wonder if Maki knows what happened. Question mark? I mean, if you could follow how the trial went at all. If no one told him there's a new suspect, how would he know? Hey. What is it, Apollo? No, it's nothing. I must be imagining it. Imagining what? <coughs> Apollo! It's just, I couldn't help but feel that, I don't know. Maki? He doesn't understand what we're saying, right? How could he? He's a young Borgidian! He doesn't speak English! Yeah, but my bracelet is reacting to him. Huh? Maybe it's malfunctioning! Or it's scared because you keep making those I'm so mad faces! Was I that bad? Maki lied about not being able to see. What if that's not all he lied about? If you're curious about it, there's only one thing to do! You should ask him! I think it'll take something big to get to him. Some kind of undeniable evidence. We'll be back, Maki! Dot, 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 dot. Maki's eyesight. So, Maki, you can see, right? Maki can see and Lamoror can't! The whole world's gone topsy-turvy! Sorry, Apollo, I don't think we're going to get any information on Maki! Which makes sense! Yeah, I guess it does. Well, that's unfortunate. What if I just start presenting some random things to him for no reason, huh? I think he said... I think he said, I'm sorry, I cannot speak your language. You are very beautiful, fair maiden. This is why I never trust a translator. <laughs> I know, right? <clears throat> well, I mean, would he say anything about anything? I do kind of wonder about that, actually. I guess we'll just have to see. Will he react to it? You won't even react to the gun? Come on, man. I thought I, got, I, thought I found something decisive there, but no. Yeah, I don't care about guns. Oh, my goodness, it's not like I shot the guy, right? So I was right there, but who cares, right? Mm, I don't even know. Well, I mean, I wasn't really right there, or was I? Who knows? Either way, nothing to say about anything. That's cool. Anyway, though, I guess now we're gonna go to the Colosseum, then the Roman Colosseum, perhaps. Not, not present. Yes, I'm gonna present my way to the Colosseum now. Oh, really? Oh, come on. I wish I would have like a travel route to the Coliseum from the detention center, but no. That's one of these things I don't understand about these games. Like, why don't they just have an option to go literally anywhere at any time? Wouldn't that just make more sense? I would think it would. Oh well, it is what it is. July 9th, Sunshine Coliseum. Woo! What a great day! It's perfect weather for s sleuthing. The weather matters for an investigation. 
Don't some days just feel like magic days or, or defense days? Um, sure. Let's get started, shall we? Right on! Let's show us your stuff, Apollo! Um, what stuff? Your voice training! This is the perfect place for it! I did enough at home, thanks. Oh, there's no need to be shy! Keep that up and you'll never make it on the big stage! I'm happy in the courtroom, thank you. I am a lawyer. Then you're in luck because it's lawyer weather today! Don't you just want to shout the face? Don't you just want to shout the blue sky? Would you want to face the blue sky and shout objection? Look, the weather has nothing to do with lawyers. Let's get going already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying so. Is there gonna be any point at all to examining this stuff? I mean, I'm just curious, actually. But oh well, might as well do it. Look, a blimp. Those balloons next to it have ad banners on them. Let's see, big sale, all shirts, fifty percent off. Oh, it's an ad for the department store next door. Oh, how shameless of them to be doing things like that. Sunshine Coliseum sure is a living up to its name today. It's huge! And Mr. Gavin got to play on the yet enormous stage. I'm so jealous! Someday I'll fight my first battle on the stage! Battle? Yeah, I was kind of wondering about that too, actually. Well, yeah, it's a Coliseum, isn't it? Um, they don't do gladiatorial contests at these places, any at these places anymore, Trucy. Really? I had no idea! I wonder why they stopped! Sometimes I worry about her. Why, though? I'm sure she'll be just fine, right? <laughs> Nothing about that building in the background. Oh, well, that's a shame. That's the same hitbox. I was actually kind of wondering. Because, I mean, I thought I got that little weird balloon thing right there, but apparently not. Apparently it was something completely different here. Anything to say about these people? The people, man! Sunshine call scene, but what about the people, though? Alright, how about this little sign over here? Look, a massive sign for the guiltiest charge tour. A giant prosecutor Gavin stares out over the arena. Oh, maybe I can take it take it to the office when they're done with it. Um, where would you put it? You couldn't even get that thing through the front door. Then I'll put it outside. I bet it'd be good for business. This as long as no one comes expecting us to prosecute. Well, if anyone comes looking for a concert, leave it to me. Is this part of some twisted plan of hers to make her singing debut? I wonder. What's wrong with prosecuting Apollo? Hmm, 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 hmm. You ever think about that? I mean, it's pretty good. Sometimes. Heck, some prosecutors even try defense attorneying every now and then. But you know, maybe you should try the other side. <laughs> It'd be fun. What's that creature there? Oh, that's the police mascot, the blue badger. Eh? It's life size. Haven't you seen him around town patrolling the streets? Yes, now even Law and Order is a mascot. I'd run from that thing even if I wasn't a criminal. Why does its head wobble like that when it walks? It's freaky. I don't think you're showing true Blue Badger spirit, Apollo. You know, that's actually one thing that someone mentioned in one of the past episodes. One of the first episodes that came out for this case. Apparently, because I, I forgot this was actually Gumshoe's idea, apparently, right? So, it just goes to show that apparently he actually had a really good idea going if they turn it into this. I mean, it wasn't just like one random little cardboard cutout that moved in odd ways, and that blocked bloodstains and whatnot, but, and crimes, but, you know, but despite that, though, you know, it's, it turned into actually something pretty big for the police department, apparently, go figure. Gumshoe, you're a genius! Also, where are you? Why were you replaced by Emma in this game? It doesn't make any sense, seriously, she shouldn't be replacing Gumshoe. You can't replace the gum! You can't replace the shoe! You can't replace either of them, man! I don't get it. July 9th, Backstage Hallway. Hi, Mr. Attorney! How did she know it was me? Lamoror! I'm sorry about today, I... There is nothing you need to apologize for! You were merely defending Maki! Um, are you okay? Alone, I mean? Humans are blessed with five senses! Even robbed of one we get by! Though it does make being a witness rather difficult. Speaking of seeing, you knew who we were before we spotted you just now. Yeah, I know, right? Actually, that's one of the things. Okay, so there's sight... I almost said seeing. There's sight, hearing, touch... Taste? What's the other one? <laughs> smell, smell. Okay, that's that's right. So... Okay, we are, there's obviously people out there who don't have, who are blind and are deaf. So there's, there's two of those right there. But is there anyone who's missing their sense of smell? Is there anyone missing their sense of taste? 
uh, and anyone missing their sense of touch? I mean, you hear more about the blind and deaf because those are more extreme cases, I guess. But I mean, what about what about the others, huh? What, what about the other three senses? Is there people who are missing those senses by any chance? I, I figure it's got to be, but it's like you just don't hear about those. Speaking of seeing, you knew who we were before we spotted you just now, and like I said, that's that's exactly what I was saying. And we weren't even talking. I heard your footsteps several times the day before. Oh! You must have great ears! Ears that heard the crime taking place. Or so she claimed yesterday. But how? I don't know, Paul. I don't know. It's rather mysterious, perhaps. Anyway, what, what about this thing? Can I, can I finally do it? That's been lying there since the day before yesterday. It's small. Maybe no one's noticed it. I kind of want to pick it up. It'd make a cool souvenir, don't you think? This stick out in my mind for some reason. Just take it! Gosh dang it! Oh well, it is what it is. So let's see, talk first? Yeah, why not? The voice. That was quite a statement you made in today in court. How about hearing Darling Crescent's voice at the scene of the crime? I did not know his name! But I'd never forget the voice! Wait! Oh, I'm a roar. Is something the matter? That voice just now! It was him! I am sure of it! No way! As I said in court, I was on my way backstage from the stage. Well, that's the thing though, I mean, the, someone didn't mention like, oh, all the Gaviniers had airtight alibis. Well, why did no one bring that up immediately? Why did Daria not bring that up immediately? It's, it's something I don't really get, actually. Oh well, that's what it is. That is when I heard his voice! I'm guessing Darian and Mr. Latouse were talking about something? The next moment I heard those gunshots! Why don't you call security? To be honest though, the noise was quite frightening. I never imagined the gunshots might be real. And I was in quite a hurry myself. I love to see it once. So it really was Darian's voice that she heard? Yeah. Or was it? At least she certainly thinks it was. I know, right, Apollo? Who really knows? Oh, come on now. Lamoror, you're not supposed to fall asleep again? Come on now. I met Maki before my debut as Lamoror. I was singing in a restaurant in Borginia. And he was playing the piano? Yes! He was very kind to me when he learned I could not see. Is that when you started playing opposites? With Maki pretending he couldn't see? Ah, no, it wasn't then. That began after I made her debut. After I became known as a landscape painter and sound. It must have been tough for Maki. Pretending he couldn't see and all that while acting as your eyes. We held hands always. He would write with his sing finger on my palm to signal to me things I should know. He is a smart and a gentle boy. I think I see what she's getting at. Maki would never harm a soul. Or would he? <laughs> I don't know, probably not. About Mr. Latouse. Ah, oh, yes, he was an Interpol agent, I hear. So you had no idea? Of course not, no one did. I guess that's what it means to be undercover. But someone was after him. They had to know who he really was. Why did he pose as my manager? I do not understand. You have no idea? I can only assume that he was investigating me, but why? What makes you think that? Perhaps it is not so, but I cannot deny the possibility. Because of my condition. As my present is veiled in darkness, so too is my past clouded from memory. Clouded. Right. Darkness. Oh my gosh, I didn't know we were playing Kingdom Hearts now all of a sudden. The darkness that I fear is not the darkness that I see whenever I open my eyes. The real darkness lies in my heart. Oh my gosh, he's gonna become a heartless. <laughs> in your heart? I have no memory of the time before I became Lamoror. I awoke from darkness into darkness, you might say. I was singing in a restaurant those days. What was it that she said about not being able to remember the light? I do not know my past. Perhaps I committed some terrible crime in my past. Everything before becoming Lamoror is lost to me. But, uh, but I don't think you... I can think of no other explanation. Why else would an agent of Interpol approach me? Do you think your past might be related to this case? 
No way, that seems really unlikely to me. I mean, you're such a sweet person, Lamoror. I thank you. Maki too tells me this often when I fear who um, I might have been. Hmm. I do wonder who she could have been, though. We may never know the true answer, perhaps. Anyway, though, let's present some things then. You think you can tell me about this? I'm sorry, but my information about the outside world is somewhat limited. I only know what I've heard or felt. That explains why she didn't react when I showed her stuff the other day. She was still prepared for things she could see then. Yeah, I guess that makes sense anyway. Which probably means she's not going to react to anything. Well, anyway, though, everyone, I think we're pretty much at the end of this episode for today. I believe on the next exciting episode, assuming... Well, assuming she didn't say anything about any of these things. I think we're going to just go ahead and move on to the next room, because why the heck not, right? It might be a fine idea. Or maybe not. I don't really know, actually. Well, random question of the day, I guess. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> we I'll get to that in a moment. We took a look at your performance again. It was even better the second time. Thank you! That reminds me! That was an incredible illusion you pulled off! Illusion? When you teleported from one stage to the other, remember? Ah, yes, apparently they hired a professional magician! Valent Grimari. I was wondering, do you think you could tell us how it was done? I'm afraid I cannot! Mr. Grimari made me swear to never tell a soul! I was afraid of that. Hard to be a magician if you can't keep a secret, you know. Ah, oh, I am reminded that you- I wish to speak to you about something. Yes? When I was walking this hallway before, I stumbled upon a small device of some kind. It was lying on the floor. Device? Maybe you mean this? That's been lying there since the day before yesterday. Might I touch it? I thought as much. What? What did you think? This is one of our headsets! Everyone on staff wears one during a concert! I wonder whose this is. We use it for communication! It would be quite inconvenient should it go missing! We'll hold on to it for you then. We'll give it to Prosecutor Gavin when we see him. Yes, that's the best, thank you! So can I put it on? Headset attached to <laughs> Juicy. Alright. Attached?! I'm not some kind of robot, Apollo! My gosh, don't break the fourth wall now. Everyone on staff is wearing one of these headsets. This might warrant some further inquiry. I suppose so. I mean, about time you freaking took it. Receiver transmitter for voice signals. All concert staff wore one. Alright, that's cool. Can I ask you about this headset, Lamoror? You said that the all the concert staff were wearing one. That's correct! You need them to communicate across such a large stage. Everyone on the staff had one, of course. And all of the band members, too, I should think. Prosecutor Gavin and his lackeys had them on, too, then. They're quite helpful, though limited. They only work within 30 feet or so. After all, they're only for use on stage. And a stronger signal would interfere with the sound system. Hmm, that makes sense. You think someone would notice if they dropped their only communication this lifeline. So why was this one lying here? I don't know, Apollo. That's probably what we're going to find out, huh? So anyway, are we done with that? Okay, cool. So then, well, I still probably want to... No, no, no. I'm going to save this for the next episode. We're going to have a cliffhanger here. We're going to check this headset officially on the next exciting episode. So look forward to that, everyone. Anyway, though, random question on that here, I was going to say, before I got interrupted by the videotape and junk like that. Hmm. I was going to say, though, uh, I actually started playing Pokemon Tournament yesterday, finally. And I got it on Friday... What was it? Friday the... 18th? Yeah, I got it on Friday the 18th. I started playing it Wednesday the 23rd, finally, because I was waiting for, waiting for a friend to get it, and I gotta say it's, eh, it's interesting, but I don't know. There's something, I gotta say, though, I'm not gonna lie, there's something about fighting games that are just a little bit meh with me. Like, if they're not Smash Bros, they're just, like, basic fighting games, like, okay, what, what is this, man? I mean, I can, I don't know. That's just the thing. It seems like another one of your basic fighting games, really. Like, I'm not, I'm not in the basic fighting games, like like the Tekkens of the world, which apparently... I mean, I don't know if Pokken's exactly like Tekken, but it's made by Bandai Namco, who did make Tekken, so I don't know. I, I don't I don't think it was like that. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. I don't, I don't know anything about Tekken. I actually haven't played a Tekken game, so I can't say that for certain, but 
regardless of, you know, games like Street Fighter, Tekken, Mortal Kombat, etc. I'm, I'm probably missing something, that's why I'm etcetering right there, but... I don't know, it's just, it's just another one of those games to me, the... Pokémon Tournament is. It's like, eh, I don't really know about this, actually. I mean, it seems, it's, like I said, it seems interesting for maybe like a few rounds, but... It's just something that seems like it would just get old really fast, I guess. I don't know. That's just all I'm saying, really. I don't really know what character I would main yet, though. I definitely know for sure that I hate Sceptile already. And I might actually hate Chandelier, or Chandelure, or whatever the heck you call it. You're the Chandelier Pokemon, though. I don't like that one either, very much. I don't, I don't like, I don't like Sceptile. Sceptile's a freaking worse, I, I swear. I don't even know. I mean, I played it for a long time, but I swear, like, I probably played, like, maybe 25, 30 matches with my friend last night on Mar March 23rd. But that's the thing, I, I played about that many matches, but I was like, I was kind of starting to get bored of it like halfway through. I was like, geez, mm, this is it's like the same fight over and over and over again. I'm like, eh, okay, well, that's fine, I guess. I just rather be playing Smash Brothers, I guess. I mean, Smash Brothers is like the only fighting game that doesn't feel like it gets stale. Like, it feels like you could do different things. You could try to fake out your opponent in different ways that wasn't possible in like a regular fighting game. I mean, sure, you can do that in a regular fighting game too, but just, you feel, I feel like you're more limited for some reason. I don't know, maybe I'm, just, maybe I'm just imagining things. I'm just not a regular fighting game person, everyone. I'm just not. Smash Brothers only for me, or Smash Brothers like games, I should say. Though Brawl Hall is still sucks, so I'm, I'm just saying, though. <laughs> Even though it is a Smash Brothers like game, it still sucks. I, I'm just saying. Anyway. I, I'm done talking about that now. Let me know what you think of Pokemon Tournament, though, just because I'm, I'm curious if you played it and if you have any thoughts on that. Are you one of those people who like traditional fighting games like like that? Maybe, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know, maybe you just like me. Anyway, though, everyone, I'll see you. Speaking of which, I still have to host another Smash Bros. Tournament one of these days. I haven't hosted one in a while. I've been meaning to do one on a Friday, but I keep forgetting about it every time a Friday episode comes up. Like, oh, I didn't even realize this was a Friday episode. So. I didn't say it in the middle of the episode, because I like to do these tournaments on a Friday, because I think that'd be more convenient for all of us. I don't know, maybe. I, I don't ha I guess I don't necessarily have to commit to a Friday, but I don't know. I don't want to commit to a Tuesday or a Thursday either, because those are usually my prime recording days, really. So I don't know. Anyway, though, everyone, I'll see you later, everyone. We're going to go, like I said, we're going to examine this headset next time. So see you later.